Yes, it is. The session. Of yes, the recording is. Uh, we are. We will be recording. So, um, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for joining today's session. My name is Catherine Conley, and I'm the Community Relations and Engagement Coordinator with Seniors NL. Welcome to this week's Let's Talk About Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. Sign, -in interpreta sign language interpretation for our Let's Talk About sessions are supported by the provincial government's inclusion grant to whom we are very grateful. Before we start, I'd like to cover a few brief housekeeping topics. Mute your mic to block out any outside noise, please. The clo closed captioning button is on the bottom of your screen. Please, during the presentation, please put your questions and comments in the chat. However, we will have a time at the end of the presentation for questions where we can open up the mics. The session is being recorded and the session is scheduled for 90 minutes. Uh, however, uh, we may not run that long. And if you have any ideas for presentations that you would like to see on our Let's Talk About sessions for Seniors NL, please reach out and let us know. We're going to take a moment to acknowledge the land we live on. Barb, can you please go ahead and um, do the land acknowledgement? Read yeah. the land acknowledgement. Good morning. We respectfully acknowledge the land on which we gather as the ancestral homelands of the Beothic, whose culture has now been erased forever. We also acknowledge the island of Utahumbuk as the unceded traditional territory of the Beothic and the Mi'kmaq. And we acknowledge Labrador as the traditional and ancestral homelands of the Innu of Nitasine and the Inuit of Nunatsiavut and the Inuit of Nunatuavut. We recognize all First Peoples who are here before us, those who live with us now, and the seven generations to come. As First Peoples have done since time immemorial, we strive to be responsible stewards of the land and to respect the cultures, ceremonies, and traditions of all who call it home. As we open our hearts and minds to the past, we commit ourselves to working in a spirit of truth and reconciliation to make a better future for all. Thank you very much, Barb. You're welcome. So, uh, Sandra, I'm going to go ahead now and introduce you. I'm going to stop sharing. And uh, while I'm, I'm reading out your introduction, if you could start uh, share your slides, that'd be great, please. Sandra Harnum is a dedicated librarian with a passion for library services. Born and raised in the picturesque town of Greens Harbor, Sandra developed a deep appreciation for literature from an early age, often traveling to the nearby public libraries for her great next library adventure. Working now as a public librarian, Sandra creates a welcoming atmosphere at the library, encouraging people of all backgrounds to explore the world of books and the lifelong learning. Throughout her career, Sandra has curated diverse collections, organized engaging events, as well as actively promoting literacy initiatives for all ages. Sandra believes that the public library serves as a welcoming third place, inclusive for all ages. If you can go ahead, Sandra. Awesome, thank you so much for that introduction. Can you guys see my uh, slideshow okay? Absolutely, yes. Oh, perfect. It's just showing a little different on my screen. So I kind of got a little uh, disoriented there, but <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so I'm really excited today to uh, talk about uh, Newfoundland Public, uh, Newfoundland Labrador Public Libraries with everyone. Uh, it's definitely a subject that's dear and near uh, to my heart. Um, in this presentation, I'll just quickly go through a brief introduction uh, of myself and the libraries. Um, some of the library resources that we have, um, accessible library services that we offer, some online library resources that we have as well. We're starting, um, especially since the pandemic, uh, we're starting to get more and more online, which is, uh, which is great. 
Um, and also I'll briefly touch on some of the library programs online, in person, and also hybrid. Um, we're seeing that a lot since the pandemic as well. Um, we had to pivot to completely online, but now we're able to offer in person again, but uh, also, you know, offer that uh, the hybrid option as well, where we can be in person, but also for people around the province, um, some of our branches, their programs are able to offer a, uh, a a virtual component, which is really nice. And lastly, how can you support your public library? So just as a little introduction, um, I'm the Western Division Regional Librarian. I started with the organization in 2021. Uh, prior to that, um, I was uh, a junior high high school educator in the province since uh, 2009. So I spent you know 11 or 12 years in um, our public school system and decided in 2015 that I wanted to go ahead and get my master's in library and information science. So when I came back in 2016, I um, spent a little bit of time as a teacher librarian and uh, I retired from teaching in March 2020 to pursue librarianship full time. Uh, the majority of my career was uh, spent in, in Central, in Batwood, but I'm originally from the East Coast, so uh, especially now with fall, I love seeing all the fall colors and everything happening here on the West Coast of the province. So I've kind of been uh, around the black, so to speak, a little bit, uh, seeing every aspect of our province. Um, my first couple of weeks here, I was able to go to Happy Valley Goose Bay. It's a little, little bit of Labrador. So a lot of firsts within this first year in my role. But um, I really love advocating for our public libraries and teaching the public about the cool happenings uh, that we have. And like, can't go around with the library card. So um, hopefully you'll get uh, to take away some information today um, from uh, programs and uh, services that we offer um, and also I love cats as well so my little Ruthie there uh, who's since passed but uh, okay. I have her there because I used to love Halloween and that was also from Batwood so um, she got a little annoyed to at me sometimes <laughs> for dressing her up but <laughs> you know it is what it is and she just put a smile on everybody's face so I, I have nothing but pure um, joyful memories of her so I always love to share her when I can Typical really I glad really her. glad you shared the picture it couldn't <laughs> be a better picture for October getting ready for Halloween love the bumblebee costume definitely <laughs> All right, so just a little bit of information about our public libraries. We have 94 branches across the province, um, as you can probably see uh, behind me. Um, when I first started in my role here on the West Coast, I got a map out and uh, started to put a pin in every location that we have here. Yellow was uh, the branches that I've uh, got to visit so far. Blue is on my list uh, as soon as possible that I'll get to. And my eventual goal is to uh, put a different color pin for all the other locations that we have as well. We have uh, 94 branches across the province separated into four um, divisions. We had the Provincial Resource Library in St. John's, which has three libraries, our AC Hunter, library and michael donovan library as well as um, our margin muse um, in eastern we have 29 branches 33 in western and uh, 29 here in western as well we offer print and digital collections as well as physical and online resources and uh, programs as well uh, in person and online and i'll uh, touch on each of those now as we go on we love that our libraries are community hubs. It's a place to be. It's an inclusive third space where you're not expected to uh, spend any money. You just come in, you get to enjoy. Uh, personal growth becomes a really important um, thing for us. We we want you guys to come in and enjoy the space. Um, you know, we're all lifelong learners. So we have lots of resources where you can learn various uh, various new topics. And also we're all about our vision, which is a public library system providing access to a full range of library services that meet the needs of everyone in our province. So we like to support personal growth and continue learning um, 
while engaging and connect, connecting with people and communities. So, and I find that's a big part of my role is uh, community outreach as well as uh, promoting our lib libraries to our communities. Um, and you'll also notice that uh, the picture there may look familiar. So all of the pictures that's in my slideshow today is actually from a photo shoot at the uh, Conception Bay South Public Library, which newly opened recently. And we are so uh, grateful uh, for those images from Alex did uh, photography as well. And for anybody that may not be familiar with this picture itself, <clears throat> I can honestly say I am familiar with this this is uh, a Nintendo Wii and this is Mario Kart <laughs> <laughs> yeah and so fun right so uh, you know it's uh, I'll ask them to go to the library and able like if you're not able to uh, have um, some of the resources at home we offer it at the library you can come in and sit down and uh, you know just hang out with uh, your fellow community members um, and yeah play Mario Kart Mario and Kart. Uh, lots of fun things Wow. So you might be thinking, how do I get a library card then? So it's quite easy to get a library card. Um, you can go to a branch or as well as register online. If going to a library branch, uh, we ask that you bring a piece of ID showing your current home address. Um, and those under 13 years of age, they need yourself or uh, a parent with them uh, in order to get one. And uh, it's easy to sign up online as well. You just uh, go to the website and you see the picture there. Uh, you'll click on become a member and it'll bring you to the information page where you'll put your information in. Um, you'll you're able to get access straight away um, as soon as the email comes to you for the digital library. Your physical card will be mailed to your address. And then once you get your physical card, you go into a branch of your choice and they'll complete your registration so that you can um, check out any of our physical resources as well. But you do have um, quick access to the digital library resources uh, prior to even uh, getting your physical card as well. So that's a great, uh, great thing to have. So some of our resources that we offer, uh, we have books, you know, obviously we're all about the books. We love reading, we love promoting books. Um, we have like fiction, nonfiction, we have magazines, graphic novels. We also have large print, which is really popular. And believe it or not, some people may not know this, but we have DVDs as well as CDs and video games. And all those materials can be uh, taken out typically for three weeks. And unless it's high demand, it's usually two week long period. And uh, You'll see there the little picture of our new library catalog, which we're really excited about. Makes uh, searching for books quite easy. Um, and we also have, so we have computers and internet as well. So we have public access computers that you can avail of. We also have free Wi-Fi access that you're, you're able to bring your own device in and um, use, you know, using our Wi-Fi. We have printing services. Uh, if you need a document or a photo scan, we can do that as well. And a lot of our branches uh, offer specific times for drop-in tech help, which is really nice. Um, or you could just, you know, drop in and one of our librarians will, you know, love to help you out as well. Uh, and you can also book a computer in advance, just advance which is really nice. And kind of like uh, on the same topic as computers, one of the partnerships that we've been uh, having recently is um, with the Murphy Center. And you, you're able to go to any of our branches and um, use the public access computers to access any of these uh, courses. You're able to access them at home as well. And um, our libraries just give you another another space where if you don't have you know the means at home to access the courses then you can drop in um, sometimes um, depending on the branch uh, that you see there that uh, some are presented um, in the branch as well so they may set up their program room with uh, you know where everyone can go in and uh, and view it together um, 
And I really like that option as well because you kind of feel like you know you're connected and you're uh, you're in you're in there with uh, others. Um, and as you so and then as you see that uh, there's many different ones that uh, you can avail of. There's professional writing. There's uh, understanding digital anxiety, budgeting and spending, which is really nice. Um, coming up, we have the Newfoundland Labrador Digital Library. Um, and as well as navigating Newfoundland government websites, which is really good. So we've real we we're really thankful for the Murphy Center. Um, it's been a great partnership so far. It's been um ongoing since even I've come on board, and since I've come on board, I've I've seen all the great positives with that. So it's in partnership with the um, the Life Learners Canada as well as some funding with. Uh, North Pine Foundation as well and the contact information is there on the uh, screen as well. I also um, um, monthly we receive calendar the Murphy Center remote library program calendar that uh, I send out widely to everybody and I can't stress enough how um, easy it is to avail of these programs wherever you are in Newfoundland and Labrador. Um, and the topics do change on a monthly basis. So I do encourage everybody to um, have a look at at the Murphy Center calendar when it comes out um, to review the re review the sessions that are being offered. Yeah, definitely. And and some great offerings. Uh, like yeah, I there. look at some and I'm like, oh, okay, I've got to remind myself now to go in and uh, and do some of those. And especially when you look at, for example, media literacy and the digital age is there. It, such such relevant topics that yep. they offer which is really nice definitely and uh, and you know moving forward with like the literacy so a little bit of digital literacy there even like um our multilingual resources is really great as well we have a host of uh books available in different languages at our uh, ac hunter location specifically um, any of those are also available for uh, system-wide holds. Uh, we have you are able to borrow across the province. So if you see a resource that you would like, you can also get it uh, to any one of your branches nearby as well. Um, we've also recently updated um, our library branches to a brochure, sorry, um, in our various languages and uh, our, which I would, one that I really like is um, our borrower registration sheets are now dual language. So we have the English, but we also have different languages on the sheet as well. So if, for example, you know, you're coming from Ukraine, then we have Ukrainian uh, as well as the English there. So that when you're starting up for a library card, it, it's it's quite an easy and, uh, you know, stress-free um, mm. process for you. We also have our Newfoundland Labrador collection on our third floor of uh, the AC Hunter. Um, there's books, materials dating from 1630 to the present, as well as reference and research assistance there. We have a great team there that will help you out with uh, any of your genealogy questions or, you know, if you just want to research uh, any of your family history or Newfoundland history in general. Uh, there's microfilm readers as well as uh, photocopiers and computers, and uh, you can access to the items in the online catalog as well. And some of the uh, materials that you um, need to use with just within the library space, you're able to get and uh, check out and um, you know use them in the library space for you know a few hours or a day, and then return at the end of the day. Such a great uh, resource as well. Something I'm really excited about, we also have board games at the library. Um, we have over 300 board games, thanks to a generous donation from Time Masters Inc. and Torbay Road in St. John's. And those are the same as uh, lending out a book, easy peasy, um, low period of three weeks. And I just find board games are an excellent addition to um, you know, furthering our lifelong literacy skills, as well as like encouraging, you know, our uh, social interaction with each other, fostering our communication skills and, uh, and everyone loves, you know, to play a board game and uh, just collaborate with each other. So it's really great to see, great for all ages. Um, 
you'll notice here this is a picture of uh, Corner Brook Library branch and it's such a great uh, resource to have some of those games are quite pricey so rather than having to spend money on a game you can come into the library and get it checked out and uh, you know enjoy it with your family for three weeks and uh, and it's such a great way to spend time with each other Another great uh, resource that we have in our uh, branches is the Sun Life Financial Musical Lending Library at our AC Hunter Library. We have a wide range, <coughs> sorry, a wide range of musical instruments. There's accordion, banjo. Um, as soon as you walk into the space, you'll uh, you'll see the showcase there with all the instruments. Um, you're able to check them out for four weeks, which is really nice. Uh, you know, if there's a musical instrument that you would like to kind of, um, you know, um, that you're interested in pursuing, but like, you know, there's a lot of money often mm -hmm. associated with that. So, you know, for four weeks, you can kind of take one out and sort of uh, play around with it and see, you know, if that's something you would like to invest in uh, for sure. And this is only at the AC Hunter Library? So, so this one is only at the AC Hunter Library. However, we do have, uh, as you notice in the picture there, we have a recording studio at the Conception Bay South Library as well. So uh, it's really, really great to see. Okay, Conception Bay South, okay. Another re great resource we have is our memory care kits. Um, these are available at AC Hunter as well as Stevenville uh, here in the West Coast. And uh, they were originally created by um, our previous uh, regional librarian, Natasha Wells, and uh, they're such a great resource for, um, we have, uh, it's designed with the caregiver in mind, so if one of your loved ones, you know, they're suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia, uh, it's such a great way to spend uh, time with each other. Um, they may be experiencing memory loss, but like you never know what may trigger their memory on a certain day or, you know, help um, help them through a specific, uh, specific day. So each of the items included in the kit encourages conversation as well as provides positive engaging interactions between the care partner and their loved one. Um, so there's like CDs, there's a photo book, uh, there's jigsaw puzzles, um, conversation cards, and they come in a range of different topics. So we have animals, and as well as over on the side, you see that we have um, a working with my hands one, as well as Newfoundland Labrador, and a fishing one. And um, each kid can be checked out for up to three weeks at a time, and they are able to be renewed one at a time as well. And such a great, uh, I think it's such a great connection for literature as well. So if you have maybe, um, you know, a small grandchild who they're not quite understanding, you know, what may be happening. Um, books are a great way to kind of explore that as well. So uh, the Remember Balloons is a great story, uh, a storybook in our libraries. Um, it uh, deals with you know, the idea that grandpa is losing his memory and the little boy is not understanding why. Um, but then at the end, it's quite a nice story because all of the balloons that grandpa had once held passed on to the little boy because of the stories that they share together. And now it's his stories to pass on to other generations. So it's just such a great book. Um, the QR code there, if uh, you're able to scan later or just uh, head over to our uh, our lib guide and uh, our seniors NL resources. It'll give you other books too that gives you a great connection um, for sharing with others. We have our bird watching backpacks, which are really nice. Uh, physical literacy is such a great, uh, great thing. Um, we also have physical literacy kits. So get moving physical literacy kits uh, available at Cornerbrook Public Library. Some of them include the beanbag tasks as well as yoga for families um, and just um, things that you guys can, you know, um, 
get encouraged and motivated to uh, spend time together, but also get, you know, active and uh, as well stay active. So, you know, our bird watching kids are really great for that. Great fun for all ages. Um, our yoga ones are really great. A little later on, I'll uh, speak to um, some branches are now offering uh, chair yoga for our seniors, mm. which are really nice. Uh, nice, you know, low maintenance kind of low impact way to um, you know to stay fit and um, yeah just you know what whatever whatever way we can do to help you guys um, in uh, your physical literacy uh, we you know we're all about and and a lot of our autumns if you request uh, books and dvds and magazines and audiobooks from another branch um, they don't take very long to arrive so if there's, for example, a book in St. John's and you live in Gander, there's a book in St. John's you'd like to get and get it sent to Gander, you can totally do that. And then you check it in and out the same as uh, you would um, if you had visited the St. John's library, So which is really nice. So you just have to basically um, notify your local library about which item you want to request, and then they'll be able to request it uh, from that location for you um or if you're in the branch and you just want to pop by and uh, kind of have a conversation with one of the libraries on the desk uh you know some things that you might be interested in they could help uh, do a little bit of readers advisory with you and uh you know find you your next great read or audiobook um you know maybe you know a popular dvd or magazine that you might like as well and then they'll totally be able to help you with that as well All right, so that's some of our physical, you know, resources. We also have some accessible resource resources, which is really nice. Um, we have a great audiobooks collection in our branches, um, which are able to be checked out on a uh, compact disc. We have ebooks and audiobooks also in our digital library, which I'll touch base on a little bit later as well. Uh, we have large print books as well as signed stories in our digital library, and we have video descriptive and closed caption videos as well. So all of our DVDs that we have, um, you're able to do the closed captions on them. Um, we also have our uh, CELA collection. So CELA is the Center for Equitable Library Access, um, and we're able to help you um, with your application for CELA materials, you're able to get books and magazines as well as audio, braille, and accessible ebooks, um, accessible online services, web, web reading and research. So we're able to help connect you with them, and you can either self register using the online registration form on our website, uh, or drop into a branch, and one of the libraries will be librarians will be able to get you on uh, and walk you through it. Um, you're also able to connect uh, with our technical services um, and they're able to uh, help you as well. Uh, Karen Dennison is a great contact there. Um, we also have our home delivery services. So any community that doesn't have a public library within 24 kilometers, you're able to sign up for our books by mail service. And what that is, is um, you're paired up with your region's um, librarian for books by mail. So for example, um, here in Western, um, Karen will be able to help you, uh, you know, pick out some books, kind of find out what you would like. And then the library, uh, we'll actually send you the books in the mail and then you send them back when you're done. We also have our home reader service, which delivers uh, our materials free of charge to residents. Um, for example, here in Corner Brook, we go to um, community members who aren't able to visit the library. So sometimes like maybe, uh, you know, in care facilities, seniors housing, or just if you're homebound, um, we're able to bring your materials to you as well. Um, AC Hunter, the St. John's Library, does a, a great uh, job with this as well, as well as all of our regions. So I do, you know, I do uh, encourage you to avail of that resource. Um, 
it's no cost to you. The you know the materials are delivered free of charge. Uh, you can get books in regular and large print. Uh, some talking books as well as audio books. Um, and I'm sure like you know DVDs and everything is not a problem as well. Um, so the information is there that you can uh, register um, in the Corner Brook area, but also uh, if you want to like just uh, pop into um St. John's Library um as well uh, as as well as Portobest. So more and more libraries are starting to come on board with this now. So right now we have uh, our St. John's Library as well as Quarterbrook and uh, Portobest offers uh home reader service as well. Um but more and more libraries are starting to get on board with uh, with that. So it's really great. Okay, can I just ask a question back on that <laughs> other one? I don't mean to interrupt your your yeah, presentation sure. there, but um, this actually really sparks an interest because I know a lot of uh, our older adults don't have access to go to the library. So the ho home delivery service are for those individuals um, that are, there's no public library within 24 kilometers. And then the bring home the library um, to, to actually deliver it, I'm assuming that would be within the 24 kilometers from your public library. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that's, right now, that's what it's um, it's just St. John's, Cornerbrook, and Port of Ask, but we're hoping right. that, uh, you know, because uh, staffing and whatnot, uh, mm. we're hoping more and more libraries will get on board, uh, you know, as, uh, yeah, in the future for sure. It's because it, it's definitely a great resource. We've had a uh -huh. lot of uptake with it. Um, and uh, yeah, our patients really enjoy it. And, and we enjoy going to them and, uh, you know, giving them their library books and, uh, and whatnot. Unfortunately, geographic, uh, you know, barriers uh, come into play uh, sometimes, but um, we're hopeful for the future that we'll be able to uh, like expand the service definitely. <laughs> Yeah, but there's always books by mail. So let's just, you know, yes, yes. You know, make sure everybody's aware that there are books by mail that can that the libraries can send out. Definitely. And that's and that's offered to all communities. So like uh for example, um I'm originally from Greens Harbor on the East Coast, and there's uh, really no library around. Like there's Whitburn and there was like Winterton and Carboneer. So like I could have availed of, of that. Um I also like travel to all those branches too. So I, I felt like I was a bit of a traveling nomad in a way. But um Books by Mail is a great resource. Like even if uh you're just underneath that mark but you find it difficult to you know get into a library branch as well. So like you get the books sent to you in the mail and and then you just send your box back uh at the end of your borrowing period. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. And so some of our online resources, um, we do have a great digital library that we're, uh, we're expanding um, more and more as years go on. We have great ebooks and audio books. Um, so this is where your overdrive comes into play. Uh, someone had mentioned like about uh, Kobo, um, the Libby app and getting, you know, um, your books from overdrive onto your Kobo. Um, Kobo is awesome for that because it's just, uh, I think it's like uh, Boro now. I'm trying to remember from my Kobo. Um, you just click on it, you put in your library card and then the screen will come up um, with all of the the overdrive materials from your library and you just like click on and borrow them um we also have um our press reader and our flip straps which has our newspapers and magazines from around the world one awesome thing about flipster um is that you don't have to you know to stand up in the grocery line up and uh, pay five or ten dollars for a magazine you can get it uh, simultaneously on um, Flipster you know and you can also get back issues which is really nice and on press reader we have uh, sorry um, newspapers from around the world so like you know you might be new to Canada you can get uh, you know information from like there's a uh, ones from like France and uh, it's really a great uh, a great way to keep up with um, what's happening in the world 
And we also have our uh, e-library guides of support that you'll see there in the link. So if you, you feel, you know, you can't get to the library to get a physical book, it's always a great um, resource to go to. And then if you have any issues, then that uh, e-library support website will help you. You're able to submit a, um, a help ticket. Like if you're having issues with your account or if one of your devices, you can't connect, uh, you know, overdrive to your Kobo, um, that, that link will definitely help you out. We also have help now, which, uh, you know, it's our live tutoring help, but uh, you can also avail of, um, if you're a new citizen to Canada, you can also prep for the Canadian citizen tests and everything on help now, which is really cool. Um, and you can also do a lot of skill building activities. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you have grandchildren visiting you and they need help with their K-12 or post-secondary subjects, uh, there's live tutoring on there as well to help them too. Um, and we also have job now too that uh, helps you um, with live resume and interview and coaching, uh, job coaching help. Rocket Languages is really nice. I love uh, that we have access to 14 free language courses using our library card. Um, there's audio lessons on there. Um, there's language and culture lessons, as well as, um, you know, helping you pronounce like new, uh, new words in different languages. Um, it ranges from like French and, um, Spanish and lots of great ones that uh, you can learn about. A new one that we just added to our digital library um, is our LinkedIn Learning. So with your library card, you're able to log in and get access to lots of uh, educational uh, videos uh, for you know business, you know creativity as well as technology and uh, technology skills. Uh, just a great way to be a lifelong learner. Um, you know, if you you feel like, oh, I'd like to learn a little bit about photography, um, you can go on and there's lots of courses on photography that you can learn about. And just, just a great way to, um, you know, build on your skill set at any age. So it's really nice. We also have our Connect Pass that we uh, recently launched. With your library card, you're able to um, book, go out and book a pass to any of our sites across the province. And you know we love uh, we're all about you know getting out and um, exploring new things and really just appreciating um, you know our surroundings. So. How the Connect Pass works is that uh, you have to be registered for your library card, and then you go on to the website and click Book a Pass, and you get a group pass that's usually good for two adults and up to four children. So talk about shared experiences. You can like go with your grandchildren. You know you don't have to spend all kinds of money going to a museum. Uh, you you get to take you know that money and you know spend it on um, other things. Uh, and just, you know, a great way to have that shared experience and making memories with um, with your loved ones. So where can you go? So right now, um, more and more places are coming on board, which you know, we love our community partners. Um, provincial parks is available, uh, provincial historic sites. Uh, you can go to the Geo Center, um, the rooms you can go to just basketball games and hockey games you're able to go to uh, and so many um, and so many more so it's just really nice and one of the um, online resources that I really uh, love and I'm excited about this sort of got brought on a lot by the pandemic when we were all like we had to like pivot to online and um, you know we uh, I did try to get our programming out there in a different way. Uh, we do have our YouTube channel, which has a lot of different tutorials um, and Newfoundland history con content. We also have programming. So like I was saying before, um, we do have chair yoga on there. Uh, so you can get some of the virtual offerings. Um, 
Cheer yoga is also available in person at select branches if you're able to uh, get out and uh, visit us. Uh, for example, Deer Lake uh, Public Library recently, they started uh, a cheer yoga session for seniors that's got, um, got really popular and has uh, really taken off, which is really nice. Um, but you also had that virtual offering as well. So we do have the Well Now Moving Well that sort of kind of came about, you know, in our pandemic, uh, early pandemic stage. Um, and those are still on there as well. So you'll you'll notice here our Western Division uh, manager, Natasha Wells, uh, who's also a certified yoga instructor, um, a lovely, lovely person, um, you know, showing you how you can relax and, uh, you know, um, get all comfy and whatnot. Uh, so it's really great to see. Um, and any other questions that you have in terms of online resources, we do have a great uh, LibGuides website. So um, you're able to click on any of the guides and it'll give you an uh, in-depth uh, look on um, all of our resources. And uh, we have theme ones, which, you know, feature our library materials. And uh, we also have, um, you know, more specific ones. For example, we have resources for seniors, uh, a guide for educators. So like any adult education things, um, I would uh, really uh, stress to go to the guide for educators too now, because they have a lot of great resources. Um, and also we have our literacy services guide, which our new um, literacy services library and Rachel Head, we're so excited to have her on board, uh, recently created for us. Um, so, so many great things there and, uh, you know, things that you can kind of look at and uh, discover more about, because uh, as you know, like libraries are not just books, but <laughs> as you might have yeah. from uh, in this uh, presentation so far this morning. Um, so getting into some of the programs that we offer, we have a wide range of programs we offer at different branches. Um, we're trying to get as streamlined as we can, like offering, you know, similar or same programs at every branch. Um, but that's the nice thing about online as well, like our virtual program offerings that we're able to offer a library program in person, but also, um, we're able to have that virtual aspect there where you're able to join us virtually. So we're really excited about that. And, you know, grandbabies, bring them with you. We love, you know, we love families coming in the door. We have lots of library programs for children of all ages. Uh, we have um, a lot of uh, Lego free plays as well as, uh, you know, just drop in the plays. Um, and, you know, it's just a great time to spend time with each other. Some of the past in-person and online sessions that we also uh, had at the library uh, were like taxes and money management, murder mystery nights, uh, sessions on like wills and estates, um, recycled book crafts. A lot of libraries now they do crafternoons. So like on a Saturday, you, you know, whatever you're working on, whether it's knitting or crocheting, you can come in and um, you know, spend some time with like-minded individuals and share what you're creating. And uh, it's just a great way of uh, bringing the community together. Some of our branches now have uh, our hydroponic um, uh, programs. Uh, so, you know, we offer sessions on gardening. Um, we have like the seed library. So like in the spring now coming up again, like make sure you check in with uh, your you know, your local libraries to see, you know, uh, I know Bay Roberts Public Library did a really awesome seed library this year. And then that in turn created uh, a lot of the Eastern libraries um, offering seed libraries as well. So definitely one of, uh, you know, the, the more popular um, trends we're starting to see. So mm. hopefully next year you'll see more and more seed libraries uh, popping up, <laughs> which is really nice um so i would you know advise you to you know contact your local library check out their events calendar um on their facebook pages as well as uh you know um when you visit the library oftentimes they'll have they'll have printed out like what they're offering that month 
Um, so you don't have to be on, you know, Facebook or social media to kind of see what's happening. Um, and just kind of drop in and, you know, have a chat with us to see, you know, if there's anything that you would like to see offered at the library too, we're more than happy to, um, you know, take suggestions and, uh, and offer, you know, what you're interested in. Uh, keeping with our, um, our knitting, um, one of the really exciting things this year is, um, for the Anna Templeman, uh, Templeton uh, Center, um, they're collecting um, knitted uh, stockings for a um, for an art exhibit, and our libraries are um, being served. Well, they have other drop off locations as well, but you can drop off at our libraries. You can drop off at uh, right now. Uh, Corner uh, sorry, Carbonier Public Library, Harbor Grace Public Library, um, Mount Pearl Public Library is there, Torbay and Fort Abed. And since uh, creating this slideshow, I also heard that um, most, if not all, Eastern and Central Libraries serve as a drop off too. So we're adding more and more. Um, our St. John's Libraries, libraries as well as our Western Libraries, they'll definitely be getting on board. Um, I'll check to make sure I say the right thing. You so you, uh all completed pieces must be received by November third though. So mm -hmm. if you want to knit a stacking and have uh you know uh displayed in the exhibit, um totally um drop one off by November third, and uh, it's for knitters of all experience levels from Newfoundland and Labrador. So it's going to be a really great showing of uh, community and uh, and art. We also offer book clubs. So like we have book clubs in person and also we have resources for digital book clubs if you would like to start your own book club. And um, one of the really great things with our digital book clubs is that we, on our Overdrive uh, website, uh, we do have a selection of eBooks and audiobooks that has unlimited user access. Um, one thing that's really exciting is our Read Atlantic at the moment. So you go on to our eLibrary Overdrive website and uh, you're able to um, gain access to our local audiobooks and ebooks uh, with no holds or wait lists. Um, and um, check them out and, and enjoy them. Um, and then the great thing also about the digital library is that the books uh, just and when their time is up, they just disappear from your uh, from your device. So you don't have to worry about returning, uh, you know, or losing books. Um, and we're also able to give you library tours. So like if you would like to come in and, you know, you're a little hesitant, like, you know, you walk in and the library might be a little bit overwhelming, then we're able to... Um, you know, by appointment, we can do uh, any size of group or class or club or organization, and we'll teach you all about, you know, what the library offers. Uh, for example, here, you'll see, um, I believe that's a 3D printer at the Conception Bay South Library. So, you know, we'll show you how to use our resources, use our tools. Um, and they can also include, like, say, if you have uh, any of your smaller members, with, uh, family members with you, we can do like a little story time or we can also do like a little crafting session as well. So, um, or assistance with your research, like say if you're, you know, you're interested in genealogy and, you know, um, researching your family history and whatnot, um, you can come in and we can help you with that as well. So after all that, you may be thinking, well, how can I support my local library? Because we're, we're all about, you know, having, um, a good support system with our libraries. And how can you support? You can sign up for a library card. You can become a volunteer at your local library. Um, you can make a donation. And just spreading the, the word of libraries is uh, such a great thing. Like the more things um, that we offer, the more we love to get awareness about. Um, and the more we get awareness about different things, the more uh, we're able to offer in our libraries as well um so yeah i really really thank you for 
listening to me today and uh, I know there's is quite a lot to, to take in and what we offer but uh, I think uh, you know I think we have definitely something for everyone um I also want to shout out a special thank you to my regional fellow really regional librarians uh Courtney Crocker who's uh re who's recently on maternity leave she's been a great help um as well as my fellow um li regional librarian Sarah Bartlett in Eastern Division and Emma Craig in PRL Division who originally helped uh create uh, some of the information within these slides um, and just thank them for their endless moral support <laughs> since I started in this role in November 20 uh 22 which nearing that one year mark almost now which is really exciting you are i would also like to take the opportunity to welcome our um, new literacy services library rachel hit which is going to be a great um great contact uh as well and um, like I've noticed, uh, I've already said this, but uh, the photos included in the presentation is of our CBS library, which uh, we're really excited to have. Um, they were taken by Alex did, and uh, you can check out uh, her website for more information there as well as uh, the Live Guide on Seniors resources. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, if you can, uh, Sandra, go ahead and just stop sharing your presentation. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you so much. And would I be able to ask um, my colleagues here at Seniors NL, Sherry and Barb, to have a look at the chat because as, as I change my screen, I'm unable to see the questions. And I think we did actually have a question come in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and re-share uh, the presentation again. And uh, then we can start some questions for Sandra. Uh, Catherine, we did have uh... We did have actually a fair, a fair amount of questions. We have Leslie asking, how much does printing cost? And she's also asking, how do you get in on a list to receive a calendar? Okay, so, um, so printing is usually, um, the same as photocopying, it's uh, 15 cents a page. Okay. And how do you receive, uh, to get on the list to receive a calendar? She has asked as well. Um, I'll have to get back to you. I know there's a um, a newsletter um, that uh, St. John's Public Library does an email newsletter. Um, you can certainly get back to me on that. Yeah. And what I'll do, I'll send that out uh, provincially to everybody that's on my email distribution list to let people know how they can uh, register for the calendar. Uh, Noel also asked, where is the bird watching kit available? I had that down too. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's definitely one of our resources because right now, um, due to their size and whatnot, they're a little bit harder to uh, send to different locations. But uh, every division does have uh, have some. So like, for example, um, so for Eastern AC Hunter, they're uh, available at AC Hunter. Um, in our Labrador regions, uh, Wabush is uh, a location. Um, here in Western, we have uh, we have them in Stephenville, uh, as well as Corner Brook, um, and also Woody Point has just uh, recently gotten them as well, which is really nice. Um, in Central, you're able to get them at uh, Gander as well as Grand Falls, Windsor. Um, let's see. And in Eastern, Carboneer. I know Carboneer has some. Um, and those are the locations coming to mind. But if you do, if you do go to the online catalog and you just put in bird watching kits, all the locations will come up like they're they'll be separated by Western, uh, Avalon, uh, Eastern, and and so forth. So, um, definitely, I think how they're spread out at the moment. Um, definitely, you know, you'll be able to get them 
uh, pretty nearby. Uh, but uh, it's my hope that we see more and more of those because they're getting really quite popular yeah. and great a great way to get out and uh, you know enjoy nature as well, especially with all of our nice trails, right? So like connect that with the um, connect pass, and uh, you're able to you know have a fun filled library day yeah. and enjoy the outdoors. It's just really great. What a fantastic event to do. I mean, I would, personally speaking, I would love to do that. Yeah, and, and so and, they, and the interesting part is they come with the binoculars as well as little bird watching guides in the backpack. So, yeah. you're, you know, you're able to sort of uh, like learn something new. And yeah, it's really nice. nice. We also have another question from Brenda. Um, she's asking, are the physical liter literacy kits available for the whole province? And she says, for example, shipping out to Buren. So right now they're uh, just located here in Corner Brook. Um, but it's definitely, you know, uh, something that we would like to see in different parts of the province, uh, for sure, as uh, as time goes on. Um, I, I think um, more and more library branches will start to... Uh, to get some, uh, you know, when uh, whenever they're able to get some funding. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully in the future we might be able to some, but some of them because of their sizes, it's quite hard to uh, mail across province. So unfortunately at the moment, they're not available um, for system-wide holds, um, but keep an eye out, you never know. <laughs> and uh, she has another part of that question too. Are there, are any of the Newfoundland libraries pet friendly other than service animals? And she says, for example, do they allow puppies or kittens? Um, right now it's just our service, uh, service animals. Um, we do have for some programs where like, um, for example, story time, um, in Mount Pearl public library, they offer a great, uh, program where they come in and they read with like the guide dogs and uh and so forth um so right now it's just our service animals yeah thank you so much Sandra. Our pets. oh you're welcome that's it Catherine well, for the questions puppies chat. Kittens, though. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. i think uh, it would be great <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's all uh, for the uh questions in chat yeah. Catherine. Does uh, anybody have a question that they would like to ask Sandra? Because you could go ahead and take yourself off of mute if you like. Um, while people are, are thinking if they'd like to go ahead and ask a question, I actually did write down a few things as you were going through your presentation. The drop-in tech support that uh, you mentioned, mm -hmm. what kind of tech support is provided, say, as a, as a drop-in basis? Yeah, so like say if you got a new uh, new iPad uh, for Christmas, not quite sure how to work around it, but you want to, uh, you know, FaceTime your grandchildren, like, and you're not quite sure how to do that yet, you can totally bring it in and we're able to help you with that. Um, uh, also, like say if you have a new e-reader, so like Kobo is compatible mm -hmm. with uh, Overdrive. So if you're not quite sure how to set it up, um, they're able to help you with that. Uh, some and also if you're you're thinking about uh, in terms of a public access computers as well, um, if you're coming in and using one of our computers and you'd like to create uh, you know a PowerPoint presentation for example, and you know you're new to it so you run into a few issues you can quickly you know run over to the circ desk and one of the librarians are more than help happy to uh, come over and help you out. Um, yeah, so like any of your devices, um, as well as uh, you know, we find to um, I forgot I forgot to mention this in my uh, presentation, but uh, some libraries uh, offer help with uh, like say moose licenses and like a lot of the my gov and l things that are mm -hmm. online now. If you're trying to uh, you know renew your driver's license or you know. Um, you know or apply for moose license or whatnot you can come in and we can help you get set up on the computer and help walk you through like the application process and uh so forth uh too so um yeah wide range of uh tech help <laughs> i would say yeah 
really good to know because I mean we with the, especially now with our cold weather hitting we do have some individuals that would like to apply for the home heating supplement program yes, and of course that's an online another one. Mm -hmm. exactly so I mean that's an online application that we can certainly if we have any calls in that need help we can direct them if the public library is close to them yeah, 100%. And we also have printout uh, versions of the home heating uh, supplement okay. uh, application as well that you can come in and um, and get. So yeah, that would, uh, would be quite beneficial. Yeah, for sure. Perfect. Do we have any questions for uh, Sandra? No? Okay. I also wrote down some additional questions. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned about the board games. So the board games are available for checkout in all libraries? Uh, yes, so um, most uh, most location does have board games. Um, not all of our branches at the moment, but we are hoping to get more and more in, uh, in our branches. Uh, right now, um, Carboneer has some board games. Um, St. John's Public Libraries has board games. Uh, Cornerbrook has board games here. Um, Stephenville uh, Crossing and Stephenville Kindle has a lot of board games. Um, as well as some of our, uh, some of our central libraries as well. Um, so kind of like most of our materials are available for system light holes, but because board games are awkward to ship and everything, they have to be like in branch, unfortunately. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I would uh, definitely check with uh, the branch before heading out, uh, your local branch before heading out uh, to get one. Um, but we, you know, it, it's one of those things that we hope we get more uh, in our branches because they are quite popular and they're just growing in popularity, which is really nice to see. It is. I mean, it was nice to uh, see that actually in your presentation that there were there there are board games to rent because I mean, what better thing to do on an evening is sit down with a group group of friends or even a group of people that you don't know and have a board game and get to know somebody. Oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah. It's all that like shared experience, right? The collective Absolutely. memories and uh, getting to know people and uh yeah it's, and then some of those can get quite pricey so it's nice that yeah. we offer that that you know if you want to try one or two out before you go and you know if you want to do go out and purchase your own well at least you kind of know you know um, what's involved in the game which is really nice so i think one of the things to remember is that you know, from your presentation, the library offers so much more than what it did say, you know, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, just just the advancement of the services involved and, you know, whoever heard about going to a library to sit down and play a board game because it was always like, shh, don't make any noise. But I mean, it's not it's not like that anymore. Um, so all of the different programs, the, the board games, the memory kits, the bird watching backpacks, the physical library kits. I think the key with that is, is that they are available in some of the libraries. You just need to follow up and double check to see which libraries that they are available. And hopefully as time passes, it will be available right across the province. Yeah, and you can like check us out on uh, our provincial Facebook and Twitter pages, uh, as well as our Instagram now. We have a great Instagram account um, at NL Public Library libraries um and also to one of my uh one of my dreams for newfoundland is that every i see that you have the library and the gold van like i my dream yeah. is that every division has a library and the gold van because they are doing amazing things in st john's um emma and her team in there is like it's just really great to see the library out into, into the communities and it also coming to you. So like, you know, with our home reader service and all that stuff, like whatever we can do to like come to, you know, to you as well. Like I'm all for that as well. Uh, any questions for Sandra? Anybody else like to come off of mute and ask a question or a comment? No? Okay. If you do have a comment before we end or a question, please, by all means, just let us know. Uh, so I'd like to thank Sandra for being our guest speaker and to everybody who joined today. I hope that you've enjoyed our session on Newfoundland and Labrador Public Libraries. On Wednesday, October the 18th, 
we are going to have another session called Let's Talk About Grief and Bereavement. And on November the 1st, we're going to talk about common law rights. Please mark your, your calendars and uh, the meeting invitations will be sent out a week prior to the event. If you have any questions or you need information, please don't hesitate to reach out to Seniors NL. Our information is on the screen. You can certainly give us a call or you can send us an email. And please follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I hope everybody enjoys your day. And again, thank you so much for joining today's Just to uh, Talk About. Thank you. Bye. Thanks so much. See you at the library. Thank you. See you at the library. <laughs>